guys, Marion here. Welcome back to my channel and happy summer. Summer is such an emotional time for me as we transition out of the school year and I channel all of that emotion into organization, my favorite sort of healthy place for it to go. So I wanted to share with you guys my system, which I think is pretty awesome for saving kids art projects and school year, school work from the year and organizing it and keeping it beautifully contained and easy to find and easy to look at and save for the next generation to come, um, as well as photo storage. So I wanted to share my organization system with you because I hope it'll help you guys out. I'm a bit of a minimalist. If you look back at my channel, I have a lot of like kids toy storage organization, minimalism videos, because it really helps calm my mind when things in my home are neat are minimal and organized. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you guys first how I store kids' art projects from the school year and and then we'll jump into photo storage. And the reason I'm sharing this video right now is because like I said, when the school year ends, I feel this <laughs> enormous emotion about things changing and nostalgia and all of that. So I channel it into organization and the projects are all on top of my mind. They're all so special right now. So it's a good time to just use that emotion and organize with it. Okay, let's get started. So I'm here in my office and this is where I keep all of the items that I've been talking about in this Ikea unit. This is the Besta unit. I added these handles. I got them on Amazon, I think makes them look a little nicer. And everything that I'm speaking about is right here. This is all the kids' artwork. I have three little boys. Two, one of them is in preschool, one of them's about to be in preschool, and one is in elementary school. So I've got all their artwork binders here, and then I have our family photos here. So the first thing I'm gonna pull out is actually this, which has nothing to do with storage, but I just got it from this company called Something You Would Love. I paid for it, it's not sponsored. Um, and I got extra pencils with all the boys' names on them. How cute are these? And then this is a last day apple. We also have a first day apple. And then you move this for like what grade they're in to take their picture. Anyways, I will leave that for you because it's just so super cute. Okay, so this side is photo storage and these are the art albums. So we're gonna start with those. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you my middle son Corey's art album. This album is from a company called Doodlebug, I think. I got them on Amazon. For some reason, the gray color is slightly more expensive, but I'll put the link below. And all it is is a scrapbook album, a 12 by 12 scrapbook album. And I have a mixture of these kinds of pages, which are just the regular 12 by 12 inserts, as well as, as well as photo sleeves so you can get so on Amazon. I also ordered these photo sleeve pages. They come like this, either as a mix of horizontal and vertical or as you know six vertical, six horizontal ones. And what I like to do is put my favorite pictures from the year that their teachers have taken or that I've taken on special days and put them with each year. So this is how I organize the binder. The first page is always their school photos. I haven't taped Corey's in yet because he's still in preschool so there's gonna be more so I wanna just wait till like he's all done before I finalize things, you know, with glue. <laughs> but the first page is that. And then the second page, okay, sorry, it's a little bit hard to show you guys without sharing other, without sharing any pictures of other kids or his school or anything like that. But <laughs> go along with me here. The second page, as well as all the divider pages are his, um, a school picture from that year as well as the class picture. And that kicks off like that year's worth of work. Okay, and then what's really special is if the teacher takes a picture of them either with their artwork or while they're making the artwork, which for us happens a lot at preschool, um, I will include that as well. So this is my littlest Max when he was in the twos, they did a bear unit. So this is a picture of it hanging like in the classroom. This is a picture of him holding it. And then this is the actual artwork. So I just feel like it's so much more special when you kind of have that picture of them or even of them holding it after it's done to remember them like really making the artwork. 
Here's another one from the Jewish holiday of Rosh Hashanah. I took that picture when he brought it home right in front of my car and then that's the actual artwork. So I just love that. This is Max's from all of preschool and his like pre-preschool days and it all fits in the binder. And this is actually five years worth of stuff because I have his like early baby days stuff in here as well. So I'm pretty impressed that it all fit. I always get asked like, how much art do I save? How do I choose what to save? And I will say, for um, each year, and it varies obviously kid to kid, like my, I would say my kids are not the most prolific um, in terms of how much artwork they bring home. But let's see, on average I have, about 10 plastic sheets, which means 20 projects total, because back and front, um, for each year, as well as about five photo pages. And I tend to save anything that like I feel like they've worked really hard on, like this Corey did. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got the best effort coloring, like they really, you know, um, all his little things. Um, so yeah, it's about that much. And then for the pictures at the end of the year, again, I'll just pr print out the ones I love best. Here's another fun one from Israel Day. That was the flag that he made, him standing in front of the sign and then um, at the coattail that they made and then me and the two boys together because I got to go in for that day. I want to talk a moment about my kind of ethos behind this and why it is that I organize in this way. And my primary value here is that I believe that when you save everything, you know, like in a giant box, which is I know is a system a lot of people use, then inherently each of those little items becomes a little less valuable because when you just like open the box and there's a million things there, it's hard to appreciate them. Whereas I feel like if you only save the most precious items, let's say 20 pieces of art from the whole year, then each one is so special and you have like maybe a photo that goes with it or you really remember it because it was from a special holiday. And of course I love to preserve of everything but that's like the nature of humanity is we we have our limits so this system for me like I feel like I'm cherishing each piece that I do save and while it's hard to throw away things um, I feel like this adds so much more value to the ones that are kept I know the system of people taking photos of beautiful artwork that their kids do um, and then throw that away and, that, and then print a book of all the images of the artwork and I think that's amazing too. I personally love to have the actual items um, and just like just to know their like heart went into it but for something bigger or like maybe a physical 3D project I love that idea too. Again this is just what works for us in our home and what I love doing. I love scrapbooking in this way. Um, I use that term scrapbooking very lightly because scrapbooking sounds like it takes a lot of time and effort. I definitely have done that in the past, but this is really just slipping the artwork into a plastic sheet. That's it. Okay. And then let me tell you my secret for keeping things organized during the year, because I am not, I really am not opening these books through much, through much throughout the year. What I do is here in this space, in the Besta unit, every time at the end of each week or however they bring home, often they are bringing home artwork, I throw away the pieces that I like, I know we're not keeping. And then any time they bring home something, I think like, oh, I might want to keep that. I will put it right here in the unit. So it's literally just sitting on the shelf. <laughs> I just throw it in there. It's empty right now because the school year is over. Um, and then either at the end of the year or during winter break, you know, during those times, I'll go through and then pick my very favorites to put in their albums. So I mentioned I have one started for my son who's in elementary school now. So that was his preschool one. This is his elementary school one. And again, it's the same system at the front um, will be his school photo from that year. And then all the projects he's done. This was for their hundredth day, I think. Um, obviously there's a little bit less projects in elementary school than um, than preschool, but any ones that are super special, I'll save. And then for this, I actually used uh, black inserts because I think there's gonna be fewer projects. I feel like we have the space for that. Um, so I use a black insert page. Uh, that way it separates the art on the front and the back, if that makes sense, but you don't need to do that. For the, for the preschool ones, I just have them 
plain, like in the empty pockets. My littlest is already doing baby class. I want to show you um, a sneak peek of what these photo pages look like. These are the vertical six ones and um, just a few pictures from him in class at school. Um, what I like to do to remember to get the photos for these is anytime I get a great picture from school or that I take it at school, I will give it a heart, favorite it on my phone, and then I will put it in an album that I either call like the child's name and then that year, so like Corey Threes. And that way it's all there in that album. And then at the end of the year, I'll just print all the photos I still love and then slot them in. So that way, when it comes time to do it, it's not like a huge effort. They're already favorited. They're already in an album. Another thing I do if I get behind on that is, um, you know how you can search in your phone for location-based photos? So I'll find one from school and then say, show photos nearby. And then they'll show me all the photos that were taken at school. And that way it's an easy way for me to, again, just select them and print them. Okay, speaking of printing photos, I do three things each year with our photos. The first is birthday parties. I make chapbooks. Chapbooks are really easy to do on your phone. What I love about them is actually how limited they are in terms of like what you can do. I mean, I guess you could do anything, but generally it's like one to four pictures per page and you just select them on your phone chapbook throws them in there and you don't have to do anything more than that so you like look it over once to make sure it's nice um, but it's just a really easy way to have the work done for you so for each of my kids birthday parties i make them a chapbook this is corey's third birthday this is his fourth birthday this is max's sixth birthday so i just love that again it's a super easy way to capture a special moment for them i love kids birthday parties it's always fun like planning them and then it also captures them at that age as well as like who their friends were at the time and things like that so i think it's a super easy way to like remind yourself to actually get things printed like just do their birthday parties if that makes sense rather than the whole year another thing i love to do is for a vacation that we go on i'll do one of these books this was our beach trip in 2020 and again i just literally print the four by sixes we actually had a photo shoot that's why some of these are nicer um, i print the four by sixes and then just slot them in here so anytime we do a big trip or a special trip i will make one of these albums and keep it super super simple and then when i'm at my peak and i like i'm a little bit behind on this i think i'm up to 2022 maybe i'm not that far behind or 2021 i will make a family album and i find this the easiest way to do it because i literally just print the pictures and slot them in i don't have to design a whole album i don't have to like worry if it looks good i literally just print the pictures and put them in now, if you're not at that level, or if you've got pictures from the past that you just have hanging around, this is my other system. Okay, so this was a bit of a project the first time I did it, and I did post a whole video about it, but now that I've got a whole system in place, it could not be easier to maintain. These photo boxes are from Amazon. I will link it, of course, for you. And what I have done is each year, it's a photo box and if there's a lot of pictures like if my child was born that year it gets two um i label them with my old-fashioned i think it's a, called dino label maker it's literally ten dollars and each one is labeled and so i have all my old pictures from growing up i call it m vintage marion vintage photos all my pictures from when I was a kid that I just had laying around are in these two boxes. I have my husband's ones in boxes. I have our wedding ones in boxes. So they're all there, super easy to find. So anytime I'm looking for a picture from when I was younger, it's all here. And now what I do is I still continue this system. So for example, this was 2020. These were all the pictures I printed that didn't end up in albums. Yes, I printed too many pictures that year. It was 2020. There was nothing else going on. And then I just slot them in here. That way, if I'm looking for a picture, it's right here. I just love to print the photos. I think we get so hung up on not printing them. I always get asked when I show the system what to do about pictures that are larger, like don't fit into this. And I have these memory boxes. They're also from Amazon. The label is from the container store. And, and I keep things like our holiday cards in here from each year. You know, things that just don't fit into that system. 
for some reason I had a giant 5x7 of this printed. So all of those kind of things or any like special paper things, memorabilia, photos, go in here in these memory boxes. And again, I don't save everything. I just save the most meaningful things. So that is my kids art and photo storage system. If you are in an organizational mood, uh, let me know below. That's my absolute favorite and I'd love to hear what you guys are doing. Um, again, links below. Let me know if you have any questions. If you like this video and want to see more organization like this, give it a thumbs up. I definitely want to make more and hit that red subscribe button down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!